Hello and welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we are going to talk about <clears throat> some practice problems involving the two tangent theorem, finding common internal and external tangents, uh, and also talking about in general tangents and secants. Now we're going to divide, there are several problems we're going to do, so we're going to divide this into two separate sections, <clears throat> reviewing uh, a couple problems and then stopping and then uh, creating another video for uh, the second set of problems. All right, so we're going to move on. Um, given quadrilateral W, X, Y, Z is circumscribed about circle O, and I'm going to prove that X to Y, so this length here, plus uh, W to Z, this length here, uh, is equal to W, X, this length on the left-hand side, plus Y to Z. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the different segments. I'm going to use a two-tangent theorem to show the congruence of the different segments. So I know that X, Q here in blue is congruent to XP. I know that YQ here in black is congruent to YR. This is all by the two tangent theorem, by the way. I know that ZS in red here is congruent to ZR. I know that WS here in green is congruent to WP. All right, so now I say that XY, XY is equal to XQ, which I say is this length here, one, <clears throat> from this section here, one, plus a uh, segment from section two. WZ is equal to a segment from section 3, ZS, plus a segment from section 4, uh, WS. Right? So I have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So I have uh, one, one segment from each section here. Now I take a look at WX. WX is equal to a 4, so in uh, green here, WP, plus XP, a 1, so XP here. Uh, y z is equal to a black or a 2, which is going to be, uh, where are we here? Uh, y z is equal to here, so y r, so that's a number 2, plus a number 3 in r z. So I can see that x y plus w z is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and w x plus y z is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. I've got a, a purple or a blue, a black or a red, and a green segment, again, the, the uh, colors are the congruent segments. So one and one, two congruent segments, two and two congruent segments, three and three, and four and four. So if I add congruent segments to congruent segments, then their lengths are going to be congruent and, congruent. and that is how I prove that XY plus WZ is equal to WX plus YZ. Okay, moving on. Next problem, we want to find the perimeter of right triangle WXY if the radius of the circle is four and wy, this entire length here, is 20. So what we want to do first, and this is actually a pretty straightforward problem, is we want to identify this length, uh, let's call it, we have a z here, let's call this point here z. So z to y is equal to x, this is a point of tangency. Uh, z to y is equal to x, and zw is equal to y. I also know then that, and we'll call this l, and this uh, J. I know that JY will be equal to X because I have the two tangent theorem. ZY, JY are congruent. And then I know ZW and WL are congruent. Um, I'm given that the radius of the circle is 4, so I can draw a point. Uh, and really I'm drawing a, or a, a square here from J to, let's say this is circle O. J to O and O to L are both the same distance. <clears throat> I create right angles with the uh, tangent line. So I've just created, knowing that this is a right angle, I've just created a square. All right, so if I wanted to figure out the distance, really, of the perimeter, it would just be 2x, 1, 2, plus 2y, 1, 2, plus 8, 4, and 4. All right, well, I know I'm given that x plus y here is 20, so 2x plus 2y is equal to 40. So the perimeter ends up being 2x plus 2y plus this length here, jx plus xl, which is equal to 8. So my perimeter ends up being 48. All right, as I mentioned, pretty straightforward problem. Hopefully you didn't spend too much time doing a lot of calculations uh, and sub using substitution to solve for this particular problem. It's a little bit more simple than that. Okay, third problem, <clears throat> and I think we're gonna stop. We'll do four, so we'll do one more after this, then we'll stop and we'll come back. So we know B is 34 millimeters from the center of circle O. So if I draw a line from B to O, it's 34 centimeters from the center, which has a radius of <clears throat> 16 millimeters. BP, 
So BP and BR are tangent segments, so they're the same distance. AC is tangent to circle O at point Q, so right here. And we want to find the perimeter of uh, triangle ABC, so this top triangle here. All right, so let's draw some lines. We need to figure a couple things out first. So BO is uh, going to be 34 units, and I know that uh, the radius OR is 16. So I have a right triangle here. I know that OR squared plus BR squared is equal to BO squared. And we really what we want to do is we want to find out what BR squared or BR, the length of BR is. So BR squared plus OR squared is equal to BO. BR squared plus 16 squared is equal to 34 squared. So BR squared ends up being uh, 34 squared minus 16 squared. If you do the math, you'll find it out. It's going to end up being 900. The BR ends up being plus or minus 30. I know that BR needs to be a positive length. So BR is 30 units. All right, so we're going to take that information and we're going to apply it. So BR is 30 units. And I know that BC, so this length here, plus CR is equal to 30 units. And I know that uh, QC is congruent to CR. So B to C to Q is 30 units. All right, so stay with me here. So B to C to Q is 30 units, just as B to C to R is 30 units. Then I know B to P is 30 units. I know that B to P consists of BA plus AP. I know that AP is congruent to AQ. So now B to A to Q ends up also being 30 units. All right. So B to C to Q is 30 units. B to A to Q is 30 units. So triangle uh, ABC ends up being 60 units total. All right. Okay, last problem, then we'll stop. Uh, and then we'll come back and solve a couple more problems, and then we'll be done. So we want to find the coordinates of the center of a circle that is tangent to the y-axis. So here, we'll call this point T. And intersects the x-axis at 8 and 18. So we're going to label the center of the circle as x, y, and I'm going to draw a line that is uh, going to be the distance from uh, the center to this chord that runs between 8 and 18. So that's my first step. Okay, then I'm going to label a couple things. I know that uh, the this radius here from x, y, this point of the circle, we'll call it circle O, uh, to M is going to be a perpendicular bisector of AB from prior lessons. So I know that from A to B, uh, half that length is going to be uh, the distance from A to M. A to B is 10 units, 10 units. so I know A to M is 5 units. So I can figure out that this point M here is 13 units. So A to M here is 13 units. So I know that T to O must also be 13 units if the origin to M is 13 units, right? because I have a right uh, angle here, a right angle here. I know that the x and y axes create a right angle. So I've created a uh, rectangle here in TOM and the origin, uh, which let's call L for now. All right, so I know that the distance from T to O is going to be 13 units, and that's going to be my radius. All right, so the uh, question is to find the coordinates of the center of the circle that is tangent to the y axis, intersects the x axis at 8O and 18O. So I know that my x coordinate now is going to be 13. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that information. I know that the radius here is 13. I'm going to draw a, radi a radius from A to the center. I believe we called this O. And then I'm going to figure out uh, the length of uh, the center O to M. I know that A to M is 5 units, so uh, the distance from O to M ends up being 12. So this is one of our Pythagorean triples. So I have a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. So now I know that my y distance is going to be 12. So my coordinates end up being 13, 12. Or you can also move this entire circle down and you'll end up with a uh, coordinate of 13, negative 12. So if you've got 13, 12, that's fine. Um, uh, 13, negative 12 is also fine. 13, negative 12, again, comes if you move the circle downwards. Uh, so that it still intersects at 8, 0, but now the center of the circle shifts below the x-axis. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, come back and join us for the second half of these problems. Again, quite a few of them this time around, but very important information for you geometry uh, whizzes. All right, talk to you soon.